So we're part of a University of Minnesota Physical Sciences Oncology. It's part of a, a network that is brought forth by the National Cancer Institute. We're one of 10 centers in the United States. Uh, and in that space, we're thinking about iterative experiments and mathematical modeling to try to understand how cells do move through the body, how they do invade and, and sort of spread through the body from one organ to another. I think we've been fairly successful in developing a basic mechanical model for how cells migrate. That includes uh, the forces that they generate to pull on their environment. Now we need to uh, test it in more realistic, in vivo-like environments in the body. It's not necessarily going to be we're going to snap our fingers and have the new, newest thing that's going to instantly cure cancer, although I would love it if that happened, and we do hope for it. But certainly our big goal is to end cancer as we know it. And so a major effort that we're trying to do is finding out how those cancer cells hide out in the body to show up later, and how those secondary, what we call tertiary tumors, these tumors that have spread through the body, how do we specifically target those to give those patients with metastatic disease that have a really poor outcome and prognosis right now, how do we shift the dial on those? Near term, one of our first goals clinically would be to be able to take these patient-derived cells and analyze them uh, in the context of our model using a microscope to film their patient cells. And from that, make a better prediction about how that patient's uh, course is going to progress, particularly with different drugs or treatments that their physician might be considering. It's a hard problem, but that's one thing that I will not accept my lab saying is we won't do it because it's hard. If it's hard and no one's doing it, there's probably a reason why it's important to do.